I'm going to make a really yummy breakfast. This is my sago pudding with mixed berries. Super easy to do. And if you haven't tried this product, you should give it a go. It's really interesting. Look at these little balls. These are tapioca pearls. And you need about 50 grams for this recipe. Now, tapioca pearls come from the cassava root. So the tapioca starch is removed from the root and then it's roasted and dried into these little balls. So it's gluten-free, so it's win-win for everybody. Now this goes straight into the pot and the way I make this is very similar to the way you would make a porridge. We need some sugar, so I'm going to add about 80 to 100 grams of sugar, depending on how sweet you want it. A pinch of cinnamon. And it looks like a lot of milk, but it will absorb this milk as it cooks for the 15 minutes. So 500 mils of milk. I'm using cow's milk here, but it works really well with soy milk, almond milk, even coconut milk works nicely. We'll turn the heat on and give this a stir just to separate those little tapioca pearls. And what will happen as it starts to cook, they'll double in size, they'll swell up and they'll become translucent. It's a fantastic textural breakfast. Now while that's cooking, I'm sort of going to juggle slightly. I'm going to constantly stir this and I'm also going to whisk some cream because after it's cooked and it's cooled down, I'm just going to fold some cream to make it extra lush. is looking really good. The tapioca pearls are nice and soft. It still looks runny, but as it cools down, it will thicken. So into a bowl, scrape down all the sides, and then I will cover this with some cling film. So we'll just grab a piece of cling film and we'll cover this and pop it in the fridge for it to cool completely. I like to place the cling film directly onto the sago pudding. And the reason I do this is because I don't want a skin to form. So in the fridge, take about 15 to 20 minutes and then we can go on to the next stage. This is firmed up nicely, it's chilled, and see how gelatinous it becomes? Look at that, nice and firm. Now, I want to loosen it up again, so just use a spatula to break it up, and for the mouthfeel, to make it fluffy, I like to add the cream now. So these are just soft peaks, nice cold cream. We'll just scrape that in, and we'll fold it together. So scraping and then mixing. Lovely. There are so many different flavours that you can add to this because the tapioca itself is quite neutral, hence why I did add quite a lot of sugar and cinnamon. Other flavours, lemongrass, ginger, if you wanted to give this an Asian twist. All right, see how gorgeous this looks now. Light and fluffy. I'm going to plate up a generous amount into a bowl. This is that type of breakfast that will keep you full for a very long time. So a few generous spoonfuls. Almost looks like rice pudding. And the berries. I have a mixture of berries. Blackberries, blueberries, raspberries and strawberries. These are just so plump and fresh. I just couldn't resist. I want to add all of them. So one or two of each. Some strawberries I'll chop up and the rest I'll leave whole. With the strawberries, I'm just going to cut them into rounds. Something a little different. And these are sweet enough as is, so we'll just pop them on top. Sprinkle them around. Our raspberries, we can break them up and leave some whole. And our blueberries, full of vitamin C, let's add a generous amount of them over the top. That is my sago pudding with mixed berries. If you haven't tried tapioca pearls, give them a go. Yes, we love our porridge, but if you like that, you're gonna love this even more.